Hecatomb, Wizards of the Coast's, mm, I guess, failed attempt at a TCG shortly after the success of Magic. Last Hallow's Eve is an expansion set, but for today, we will be tackling the original boxed uh, booster box set. Let's tear into this guy. If I could find my knife, it would be a lot easier, but we'll just dig into it with our nails. So anyone who's unfamiliar with Hecatomb, it was a... I've only found out about it recently. It was a gimmick. Apparently, it's a lot of fun to play. Apparently, there's some nice, interesting mechanics or something and whatnot. I guess similar to Mutate is now. But what's really interesting, or what's different, I guess, is this gimmick. The packs themselves. Because inside these giant-looking packs, which seem all sealed together, is not your traditional... Um, Two and a half by three, no, three and a half by two and a half, whatever. Standard poker size card. Hecatomb, you, your pagan god, and your abomination army are all that stand in the way of tomorrow. New players should begin with a Hecatomb 40 card starter set. Booster packs are recommended for, expand for expert players. Boosters don't include rules. Each player must have a deck of Hecatomb trading card game cards to play. All right, let's open them up. I know nothing about the actual cards in the set, but let's see what we get if these are even openable. There we go. All right, peel that up. A little bit of cardboard protection there because they are hexagon shaped and very sticky to each other, apparently. Are these going to be able to focus because they're very glossy and. Uh, there we get it. Yeah, okay. They're very glossy and sticky. Uh, I don't know what any of these do. Horseman of Conquest. Elevator. That's a that's humorous. Daughter of Blood. Wow, these are really stuck together. Gonna have fun shuffling those. Meddling kids. Nightchild, Ag Agonel, Scardist, Scare Artist, I guess, uh, Nephilim, Have, like like cut in half, I guess, Have, uh, Mechadol, Hush, Cute Tail, mm -hmm. Being from Beyond. So the idea with these cards, from what I understand, is you shuffle them up, you have your draw pile, whatnot, you draw your cards, however many it is, and when you play them, you're supposed to play the other ones around it using, I guess, like a additive feature to add up stats around it. Uh, I don't know the details of it exactly, but it does sound nice in principle. Um, I think a better use of it would be to just have the cards, regular standard size cards, just offset from each other slightly so you could read the side text of one of them. Kind of like a, just a way of organizing it or something. I guess that needs to, uh, that should have been thought of. Um, let's see. What else we get? Right. They're not even straight in the package. Unholy Fusion. Can any of these be seen? No, they're not focusing really. Let's see if we can change the focus of that. There we are. Okay. Unholy Fusion. Curse of the Ancients. I'll just listen to peel apart there. Thousand Faced One. Hound of Leng. Surrounded by Idiots. I like that one. It was only a dream. A little bit of comedic art going on here. Creature from Xylo. I guess that's how that's pronounced. Brain Surgeon. Winchester Blessing. 
I like the gun, I get it. Hypersonic Fiend. Uh, Alastrian. Alastarian. Forbidden Word. Parasite Deceit Evader. Let's see what these things say. Okay, so Strength is 5. It's a minion. Illustration credit on it. Ben Templesmith. Uh, trademark, 2005. 2005? Oh, wow, I thought this was in the mid-90s, but I guess not. It's in the early aughts. Uh, its appearance fulfills the first of the prophecies. The apocalypse fulfills the last. It's card four out of 144. Um, I don't know what else there is about it. Let's see these other ones here. This one doesn't have a strength, so forbidden word. Fate slash curse. I'm assuming this is a mana cost of sorts, maybe? I don't know. Each enemy loses two souls. A single word can melt the soul. Ben Templesmith again. I wonder if these, are, these aren't all Ben Templesmith. No, they're not. Interesting. I wonder if uh, anyone's thought to steal the... Oh, look at that. The edges get all chewed up sometimes. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. i got to move a bit away. Um, I wonder if anyone's thought to reinvigorate this set with a... Maybe doing them as just uh, standard poker-sized cards with little offset lines so that you stack the cards on top of each other in an, uh, you know, progressively, left to right or top to bottom or whatever, as opposed to uh, as opposed to these hexagon shapes. I thought that's what actually the mutate mechanic was going to be, something where you would literally put a card, you know, just slightly above so it would expose, for example, we'll use, a, what do I got here, Ashiox Erasure, and just a game card, you know, you would have this, and then either at the top or the bottom or something, there would be data you want to you'd want to maintain. So the next card would go like that, and the card below that would, you know, go its own way, and you would have that that constant information exposed as you went. Um, obviously, that's not the way mutate went. I just thought it might go that way. Uh, I, online, it works fine, but in paper, it's a little bit awkward because, well, not that I've got to play it in paper really, but feels like you'd be flipping cards up and down a lot to see what things did. Uh, Cruel Reaper. Reaper plus four. If this abomination attacks, destroy this minion at end of turn. Don't know what any of these things mean, but some nice artwork. Impale. That's pretty good. Very gruesome, very horror-focused, horror-centric. Orthon. I could have seen this being much more popular. Mr. Bananas. Uh, if it was traditional card sizes and shapes. Nightchild, that's interesting artwork. Who did that? Oh, Ben Templesmith again. Our good friend there. That was interesting. Kind of a departure from the other artwork. Uh, Agonel, we got that one already. That's a repeat. Scardist, we got as well. Nephilim, we may have got. Have we got, that's for sure. Mechatol, Mechatol, Mechatol. Oh, wow, those really stick. Hush, which we also got, which is some very disturbing artwork there. Reminds me of um, a PS1 game that never really saw the light of day, Thrill, uh, Thrill Kill. One of my buddies showed me that once, and it was uh, the stuff nightmares are made out of, to put it plain and simple. Qteoteo? Qteoteo? I don't know. Being from Beyond, which really almost kind of look, just looks like an angler fish, so not, not much beyond, just a little bit into the water. So, I guess we got a stack here. I wonder how these, how well did these shuffle up? Oh, absolutely terribly. Where do you, where do you attack in a shuffle? Hmm. I wonder if they, uh, let's move the box out of the way a bit. I wonder if they can riffle. There are two short stacks it'll be, but I can't riffle shuffle, so that, that will be part of the problem with this, but. Oh no, actually they bend very, very easily for, for that. Let's try and make these stacks a little more even. Might have to wait till I have more cards. So the plastic card stock is great for that. Sticks together like heck though. That's terrible. Come on. Stick together. Or don't stick together, but stay in shape. Are those off cut size wise? No, I don't know.
Oh yeah, they riffle very nicely actually. Considering I can't riffle shuffle. <laughs> so, put those guys down. Let's open another pack. Anyone who's watching this probably either play the game or knows something about it. So I'm not, uh, me showing how they shuffle and all that really isn't benefiting you. You may be actually genuinely be interested in what cards I got. Uh, Greater Cthuligan. Cthuligan, depends how you want to pronounce it. Uh, Avasculate. Helminth. Nebrios. Victimize. What is that artwork? I've seen that before. Mitch Cody. No, just looks like something I've seen. Uh, Parasite. Distra oh, no, sorry. That's not the name. That's what it is. <laughs> Damned Thing is a good one. By Haki. Yofakwa. So the hard part with the clear things, you don't know where which card you're peeling up. Uh, Greater Wolfling. Blood Monkey. Glimpse of the Cosmos. That sounds like a Cthulhu thing. Or Cthulhu, depending, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Each enemy discards two. Yeah, looks like, you know, driven mad by seeing the universe sort of thing. Mindless Servant. That's some cool artwork. Just kind of iconic. Perfect Vessels of Belief first require the ego to be cored from the brain. Wow, that sounds much more disturbing than the artwork would uh, dictate. Nibrian Elephant. Nibrian? Nibrian? We'll go with Nibrian. Oh, even the... Case, uh, the packs stick together. So 2005, this was a decade after Magic was released. I thought it was much earlier than that. Clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's uh, that's way later in it. Uh, Gurog. Slimoid. Hungry Chupacabra. Skin Taker. Well, that sounds lovely. Forsaken Shell. The Butcher, Callow Believer, Devoted One, Twinned Husk. That's cool. Looks almost uh, very comic booky, kind of unfinished art, but really nice. Victimize. I'm liking the font on this too. Damned Thing. We got that again. A couple, you know, serif letters that make them stand out a little bit different. By Haki. Is that on the same pack already? Yofakwa. So, some of you might know, I've been working on a little, not collectible card game, but a living card game. Sorry, working on a little car living card game of my own, Cards of War. Uh, if you go through my channel, you'll see some, uh, some game play gameplay demos of it. Um, almost done now. Two more pieces of artwork i got to complete to finish the set. Uh, and then the next... Thing I was looking at was a horror-based game that I, I have some ideas for. Problem is, I'm not a horror artist, so either I've got to find someone who wants to do artwork for me at a very reasonable price, or I've got to bite the bullet and try and figure out how I'm going to do this horror artwork. Um, it, it's a simple idea that the actual concept will be fast uh, to get down. It's more the artwork that's going to take forever. Uh, among a few other things I'm working on, too, that uh, will all be in this channel eventually. You'll get to see all that stuff. Uh, Goltra the Collector. Baby Blood Monkey. Torment. That's nice artwork there. Very painful. Ghoulish Reanimator. Forsaken Shell again. Callow Believer again. The Butcher again, I believe. Devoted One. Is he licking a... Looking at the knife there. Yeah, he's they were biting the knife, at least doing something. My thoughts, deeds, and blood I offer to great Cthulhu. Yeah, okay, so it's Cthulhu based then I guess. Twinned husk again. Victimize. Looks almost like Simon Bisley style art there. Damned thing. By Haki. Yofakwa. That's like the exact same cards as the previous pack. Um, 
So speaking of Cthulhu, that's what uh, the game I'm looking at developing would incorporate some of, some some of the Lovecraft uh, mythos. Or, yeah, mythos, I guess you would call it that. Um, it's It wouldn't all be Lovecraft. The idea would be it'd be like a, a four-faction setup. One would be Lovecraft. Maybe one would be... Uh, classic horror monsters, you know, your Wolfman, Frankenstein, uh, vamp, um, Dracula's thing. Uh, and I'm stuck on the other two right now, still working out those details in my mind. But the idea is it would be these four pillars of of horror fiction or whatever you want to call it, horror uh, culture that um, could be, well, it could be anywhere from a two to four player game. That's why you'd have the four factions, so you could get up to four players. Um as I develop more of it in my head, at least, I'll be able to put something to, something down and something together that I can hopefully demo on a Tabletop Simulator or something. Um, among Cards of War, which is the current game that's almost complete, and a couple other games I've been working on. Um, which should hopefully see the light of day there at some point, because that's the best place, I think, to uh, to try them out. Mawblade? That was new. Is that a lawnmower? I think it is. Hungry Chupacabra... Skin Taker again. Gross, disgusting sounding name. Bloodlust. That's that's gruesome. That's very gruesome. Untap target abomination. It gets plus two strength. Play only while defending. Yuck. Nightchild. Agonel. Which I guess is like agony, right? Scardist. Nephilim. Have Mechatol Hush Cute Teo Teo Being from Beyond. This is a lot of packs to open, it seems. More than I felt like when I started this. <laughs> I guess it would help if I knew what cards were or what they did or how they interact with each other. It would make it feel a little bit more worthwhile to open. Maybe I should watch a video on how to play. Then I'll understand before I open Last Hallow's Eve. Signet of Loki. Primeval Larva. Skin Melder. Dark Genesis. Glimpse of the Cosmos. Nibrian Elephant. Crypt Collar. Suckling, that one's new. That's gross, but new. Uh, Spirit of Fury. Let's see if you can hear this peeling as the cards peel apart. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Surrounded by Idiots. It was only a dream. Creature from Xylo. Brain Surgeon. How many more packs are there? My god. And I guess the downside of... Uh, these uh, transparent cards, these these vinyl cards, plastic, whatever they're made out of, is uh, no foils or anything like that, really, right? Did Magic have foils in 05? I'm sure they did. I guess, it, I don't know when it started, but I'm sure it was by then. Brain Canister, that's new and completely disgusting. Lovely. Whenever a minion is exiled, its owner discards one at random. That's not just a brain. He's my best friend. Dr. Gilman. Endbringer. Hmm. Razor Wire Artist. That's new. Same style art as that other card. Smothering Curtains. Avasculate. Mechatol. Hush. Cuteo Teo. Yeah. Being from Beyond. Hadribor. Eviscerator. 100 Lashes. It's new. Hidden Power. That's a really cool one. Target Abomination gets plus 3 Strength. That's a cool artwork on that one. I like that. Uh, Bringer of Sacrifice. It's actually a cool name for a card. Gain 1 Soul. I don't know how souls work. I know nothing about this game. Probably should have looked that up. Anyone who knows the game is looking at me right now going, you idiot, this means that, that means that, this is how you do that, well, that's a good card, that's a lousy card, that's a valuable card, which I don't think is a true statement on any of these. Tiamat, Chaos Incarnate, 
He's a god. Interesting. I don't know if... Yeah, I guess we've had red before. I see it right under there. Gluttonous flesh bag. Hmm, delicious. Open the tomb. That's some nice artwork on that one, too. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. Put any revealed Aztecal minion card cards into play. Their summon effects don't happen. Interesting. Impale. Oh, we got that one already. Winchester Blessing we've seen. Hypersonic Fiend. That's new. And whatever beautiful artwork that was has been blurred. Doesn't look like it was painted that way. It butchered our guide like a hog in the time it took us to gasp. Minerva Endbringer. Uh, Alastri Alastarian. Forbidden Word. Angama. True Gargoyle. Soul Drain. That's a nice one. I don't know if I got that one before. That looks cool. Very creepy. Target Corruption, Abo Target Corruption Abomination gets Reaper plus one. Life Extraction. Hatcheteer. So these cards are very sticky too, and they make your fingers feel very sticky. It's kind of really gross, actually. Maybe it's because of their age. Like these are 15-year-old packs of cards now, but... I don't know if it's the age of the, the cards or if it's just the fact that that's what these types of cards do. Either way, it's disgusting. Uh, Pythonos, I think that's new. I haven't seen that one yet. Roach Keeper. Elevator. I love that name. Daughter of Blood. That one's new. Gift of Hades. Five Space Interloper. Food poisoning. That's kind of boring looking. Like a vomiting werewolf. Midnight snack. <laughs> That's funny. That looks really cool. Tap target abomination. What monster can resist stopping to kill teenagers making out? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I guess that's the other one of the other pillars of the of the horror thing. We have Cthulhu. We have uh, uh, 50s monster movies and we have um, slasher flicks so I've got three I need one more what's another pillar of the horror community someone tell me horror, gore, all that sort of stuff whatever it is Forsaken Shell The Butcher Callow Believer Devoted One Twinned Husk again that's that one that the artwork looked like on that other card getting down to the bottom yet not really there's a crap ton of packs in here. How many packs are in this thing? 13 card booster packs, yeah. How much is in a box? There's like a million of these. They never end. It is a nice, sorry, it is a nice uh, logo artwork sort of thing. Much more red than it's showing up on camera though. I'm not sure if that's my monitor or if that's uh, what's going on. Sky Slayer. Ebriel, Breath Stealer, Needle Shaman, Forsaken Shell again, The Butcher, Callow Believer, Devoted One, Twinned Husk, Victimize, Damned Thing. Getting a lot of repeat stuff now. By Haki, Yofakwa. So there's a little number one in this corner here, and I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, this is 144, 144. There's the last card, of course. They do it alphabetically. The other thing I don't know is how you judge, um, how you judge, uh, or if they even have rares, commons, uncommons, all that, all that good stuff. I don't see a clear cut thing on here, unless that's what that number one means. But I don't think I've seen anything but a number one. I think I've only ever seen number ones on it. Look, look, pay attention to these ones. Uh, I, I executor of Yamog. Bloodlust. Lord of Sacrifices. I think that's new. That's some interesting artwork. Blood and flesh. Words and oaths. Which will you give to the master? Ravenmancer. I don't like birds. That kind of creeps me out. It was only a dream. Creature from Xylo, Brain Surgeon, Winchester Blessing, Hypersonic Fiend, 
Alastrian, Alastarian, forbidden word, uh, Angama, true gargoyle. So I'm going to take a quick peek here. I'm pretty sure they all are number one in the corner. Well, that is hard to, that's hard to squish together. Yeah, everything's number one. Oh, set. Huh, I'm sorry. That's probably their set marker. This is the first set, so it gets a number one. One thing I didn't think of when I thought of it was brilliant it would be a brilliant idea to invest in this uh, set was where am I gonna keep these cards? How am I gonna pack them up? Clearly never gonna play with them. So what do I do? They're not gonna fit in a regular box of any sort. Uh, Shogoth, that's for sure Cthulhu stuff, right? Uh, stitch up to two of your minions onto this abomination. Oh, that even sounds gross. Stitch. Bull of Minos, that's new. Flying Polyp, that's disgusting. The artwork is gross. The th idea behind it is gross. Four damage to each abomination. It seems like a simple thing, but that's gross. That's absolutely disgusting. Filth Rat. That's really cool, actually. That's great artwork. Uh, uh, magic in the recent years seems to have gone more on the, not comedic side, but kind of friendly side. Uh, I'd like to see an actual set come out that's like a little bit, not this, you know, gross, but kind of leaning that way. Just, just you know, mix it up a little bit, that sort of thing. Hadrabor, maybe just a set of, you know, alt art stuff. Eviscerator. 100 Lashes. Hidden Power, Bringer of Sacrifice, Gift of Hades, Five Space Interloper, Food Poisoning, Midnight Snack. I wonder what sales numbers were like for this. I'm, I'm sure some Magic fans uh, jumped all over it to begin with, but... Uh, Loki, Prince of Treachery. Reap a number of souls from target abominations controller equal to its size. You may play minions as combat fates and at end of play and at and at end of any player's turn. Ah, that means absolutely nothing to me, so I have no idea. Oh, his eyes going through his hand. I didn't notice that at first. Um, that means absolutely nothing to me. Lord of Sacrifices, Raven Mancer. I really should have looked how to play this game so I understood a bit of it at least. But I'm probably never going to play it, so why bother, right? Great Mother, that one's new. That's disturbing. Uh, Devoted One. Twinned Husk. Victimize. Damned Thing. By Haki again. Yofakwa again. Greater Wolfling. Blood Monkey. Mindless Servant. Hamnus the Dreamer, uh, Armor Graft, Curse of the Ancients, Thousand Faced One. It's a uh, looks almost like unfinished artwork. That one, they do that sometimes. I know it's a it's a nice style, but Forsaken Shell, The Butcher, Callow Believer, Devoted One, Twinned Husk again, Victimize again, Damned Thing. By Haki, Yofakwa. That was the last one there, right? Yeah, by Haki and then Yofakwa. All right, these packs are actually opening a lot easier now. Interesting. Uh, Limos. That's different. That's new artwork or a new card for us. New artwork and everything. Each player discards their hand, then draws one for each of their abominations. Hmm. Uh, Orthon, Mr. Bananas again, Roach Keeper, nice and gross, True Gargoyle, Soul Drain, Life Extraction, interesting, I wonder if any of these share names with any newer uh, magic cards, Hatcheteer, 
Nightchild, Agonel, Scardist, Nephilim, Have. I only asked because that one card sounded like a like a magic card. We're near the bottom. We got what do we got? Three, six packs left. Oh, I hope I get a. I don't know. I don't know what I hope I get because I don't know what what I should be looking for. I may have gotten what I was supposed what I what I really needed or something. Who knows? Withering Mistress, uh, Helminth. That's nice. Nebrios, uh, Ebriel. If you fall under its mental aura, or yeah. <laughs> if you fall under its mental aura, pray it kills you quickly instead of keeping you as a slave. Uh, Hadrabor, Eviscerator, One Hundred Lashes, Hidden Power, Bringer of Sacrifice, Gift of Hades, Five Space. Interloper, food poisoning, midnight snack. Alrighty. Almost done. We're in the home stretch now. We're in the home stretch. Uh, the Jester. That's new. Once you hear it, his cackling laugh plays in your mind forever. Nice artwork on that one. Ruin, shift, ruin Sifter. Wear Tick. That's some cool artwork. Looks like uh, um, Spider-Man from The Last Avengers or uh, one of the other Spider-Man things from the comic where he had that the uh, arms behind him, the spider la legs, I should say. Cephalopod? Cephalopod. Uh, would have been nice to see more of that artwork. It's basically a squid, and all we see are a bunch of eyes and teeth. Cryptcaller. Suckling. Spirit of Fury, Surrounded by Idiots, It Was Only a Dream, Creature from Xylo, Brain Surgeon, Winchester Blessing, uh, Hypersonic Fiend. I was reading the wrong part of that card again. Four packs left. Four packs left. Uh, what do we got? Tesla Reactor. That's new. Oh, this one's got two on it. Ooh, ooh, meddling kids. Wait a minute. I got meddling kids. How did it? No, it didn't have two. It was just stuck to that one. Arg. Uh, meddling kids. <laughs> Razor Wire Artist. Smothering Curtains. I think that one's new. I don't remember seeing that one before. Hadrabor. Eviscerator. 100 Lashes. Hidden Power. Bringer of Sacrifice. Gift of Hades, Five Space Interloper, Food Poisoning, Midnight Snack. Alright, that's a big stack of plastic there. They do not slide well together. Alright, four packs left. <sighs> so speaking of vinyl cards like this, like see-through cards, um, I think Make Playing Cards or one of those companies uh, just released a ultra clear deck. Of course, I bought it because I'm stupid and that's what I do. And it's interesting. The cards are completely clear. It's kind of etched on there, The like regular playing cards. It's kind of etched on there. Um, apparently, they've been getting complaints that people can see through the cards. Not quite sure what people were expecting when they ordered a set of perfectly clear playing cards. They had plenty of images to see it. They knew exactly what they were getting into. Uh, and I think I just uh, buried the lead with the great Cthulhu. So, yeah, we didn't get this one yet. He's a god. All enemies discard their hands. Whenever you're attacked, the aggressor sacrifices a minion. He's eight, whatever that is. Yeah, I think this was... Uh, maybe I, should, I picked the wrong time to complain about clear plastic cards. Sam Wood is the artist. I don't think any of these guys did anything for magic that I know of, at least. I've never heard of these names. I'm assuming... That's a good card to have, I guess. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Uh, Great Mother again. Sunder. Uh, Nahul. Greater Wolfling. I think I saw that, saw that one before. Blood Monkey we saw for sure. Glimpse of the Cosmos we saw. Mindless Servant. Nibrian Elephant. Cryptcaller. 
Suckling, Spirit of Fury, Surrounded by Idiots. So we got Cthulhu. That's pretty impressive. I'm guessing that's a good card to have. I didn't know that this set was a Cthulhu-themed set or had that in it. Um, but he's public domain. I found that out the other day. So you can do whatever the heck you want with Cthulhu. Uh, Screaming Star Spawn. It's a minion. Oh, I assume that would have been a god too. Each enemy discards four. Choose one of those cards and destroy each minion with the same name. I wonder if this is another four card per deck thing or three or something. Hound of Leng. Seems like everyone's doing three cards per deck because and smaller, shorter decks. So Magic's uh, Magic the Gathering is six, 60 cards, four maximum of each. All these other sets seem to be doing 40 cards, three maximum of each. I guess just to be different, I don't know, but it is what it is. Gluttonous Flesh Bag. Open the Tomb. Winchester Blessing. Hypersonic Fiend. Alice, Alistarian. Forbidden, wor forbidden Word. Angama. Parasite. Deceit Evader. Mm -hmm. Don't know what that means. True Gargoyle. Soul Drain. Life Extraction. Hatcheteer. Last two packs. See if we can get another Cthulhu or something like that. I'm assuming that's, like I said, I'm assuming that's a good card. I don't know. Princess Eternal, that's new. Don't remember seeing that one before. Whenever this blocks, target player discards one. This is pretty much a, um, this whole set just seems like a Demir deck. Everything's make them discard, make them throw things away, make them remove stuff from their hands. So it seems like it's very uh, uh, black-blue mana focused. Very Demir if you're doing in uh, magic terms. Feculus Sewer Lord. That sounds gross. And uh, he's coming out of a toilet. So that is what it is. Maniacal Silverback. Is that a magic card? That sounds like it was a magic card. Uh, Crocothorpe. Okay. Blood Monkey again. Greater Wolfling. Glimpse of the Cosmos. Mindless Servant. Nibrian Elephant, Crypt Caller, Suckling, Spirit of Fury, Surrounded by Idiots. Last pack. What are we opening here? What else does Hecatomb have for us? Come on, give us something good. Nyar... Nyarlathotep. Uh... Interesting E and P. I'm guessing this is a uh, uh, Egyptian themed thing. Thing outside time and space. Exile one target minion from each enemy. Once during each of your turns, you may stitch up to five of your minions together. I love and hate that stitch. Sunder. Nahual. Murder of Crows. Oh, that's new. Murder of Crows. Destroy target mana card. Put the top card of your deck into your mana zone. The heck are mana cards? I don't see any. Hadrabor. Eviscerator. 100 Lashes. Hidden Power. Bringer of Sacrifice. Gift of Hades. Five Space Interloper. Food Poisoning. And our last card, Midnight Snack. That was a nice one. It had good uh, flavor text on it. What monster can resist sapping, stopping to kill teenagers making out? And uh, there you have it. There's Hecatomb. The failed Wizards of the Coast um, TCG. with uh, Well, failed mostly because, I guess, the style of card. Something you don't do. Um, so that's it for today. Maybe we'll do something clever and creative and open this box on Halloween. Or at least release a video of it being opened on Halloween. We'll see. That might be clever. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Um, leave comments, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Hit the bell notification and make sure you don't miss any of my episodes, even though they're not released at a regular time interval or anything like that. Um, if you know anything about Hecatomb, let me know if anything in here was worthwhile. I mean, that... that uh, uh, Cthulhu was fun to see. I don't know if it's of any concern or 
worth uh, worth for the game. Dollar wise, I know nothing here is worth anything. This is more just for fun. Um, but yeah, let me know anything you know about the game because I don't know anything about it. And I'll see you next time.